We begin here at 10 o'clock with that mother, broadsided by a driver who investigators say was racing at the time of the crash. The man who hit the victim's car was identified, but that other driver still hasn't come forward. Now, Christine Felgiri is fighting for her life, her family hoping for justice. Our Jonathan Martinez is joining us live from the medical center with exclusive surveillance video that hopefully will help with the investigation, Jonathan. Guys, and that mother remains here at the hospital. We're told she suffered lots of injuries and several broken bones. Her family left praying that she'll make it. This is a look at exclusive surveillance video that witnesses say shows two vehicles racing Saturday morning along Telgi. Only a few minutes later, about a half a mile down the road, witnesses say these pictures show the resulting crash that left an innocent woman now fighting for her life. We're uncertain if she's going to make it, if she's going to survive this. This is one of probably the worst accidents I've ever seen. I used to be a Navy corpsman for many years, too, and this is really, really bad. Brian Felgier says his mom, Christine, is now at Memorial Hermann Hospital and has undergone several surgeries with many more to go and remains in ICU. Algier says she was crossing Telgi when she was T-boned by this now almost unrecognizable challenger, causing her SUV to flip multiple times. If she does make it, she will never be the same again, ever. Investigators say the driver of that challenger was also sent to the hospital with a broken leg, but the other driver that was also involved never stopped. If you're responsible for what happened, then man up. And, and deal with the consequences of your actions because you're, you've altered lives. So far, no charges have been filed in the case, but the family expects that to change very soon once authorities finish their investigation. I hope that she sur survives this, and I hope that we can somehow regain a little bit of normalcy back after all this is said and done. Of course, if you have any information about this case, you're urged to contact authorities. Meantime, that family has set up a GoFundMe account to help with medical expenses. We have a link for you on our website at click2houston.com. Reporting live tonight for the Medical Center, I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.